Well, here we are today at a new location. I only fished this location once before. I've come here today with a friend of mine named Brad. He has featured on a number of my videos before. He's already out on the water, so I'm just gonna go and meet him. Trolling a little hard body lure on my way to meet him. You never know what you might pick up trolling, so it's a good way to start the day. It's just a little shallow running hard body lure. Unfortunately I'm not off to a good start today. The sounder didn't fire up so I'm sort of running blind. Not only new system but no sounder so it's going to make life difficult for someone who relies on their sounder to pick up drop-offs and schools of bait fish for targeting their casting so it's going to be a bit of a handicap but we'll see how we go wish me luck i'm gonna need it because i've got no sounder i'm going to use my lure as a bit of a depth sounder i know that i've got a lure on that runs to 1 to 1.5 meters and at the moment it's not bouncing on the bottom so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to work my way slowly in towards the bank and see when it starts hitting the bottom because the water is quite murky, it's going to be a little bit difficult to start to see the depth of the of the water. But when the when the lure starts banging on the bottom, I'll know that I'm getting into that sort of depth. It felt like it. Yep. Good call. Good call. I tightened up the drag on your warning. <laughs> I saw my line change direction and I thought, hang on, hang on. First few seconds are like a Yep. Thanks mate. Good tip there Brad, thank you. There we go, that's not a bad way to start the day. Nice little gold spot or estuary cod. And he inhaled that little three inch minnows in midnight oil. Getting a good shot straight down his gullet there. Plenty of little crabs and fish have gone down that way. Oh, there we go, there you go, live action. He's just regurgitated a fish for you. Hope you saw that. Beautiful. Hello, Mr. Stinky Cod. Thank you for coming to visit me. Look at the beautiful gold spots on you, fella. What a lovely creature. Not too bad on the tooth from what I've uh, come to understand, but not today. You can go back to your snag. There we go, that's the 3 8 heavy duty TT jig head. Did a good job. Three inch minnows, midnight oil one lovely estuary cod. See you mate. 
I often have people asking me what gear I'm using. In this instance, that cod, I was just using the Akuma Seros. This is the seven foot medium, three to six kilo. And the reel is the Akuma Seamar C30. I've got 15 pound platypus platinum braid, and I've got the uh, platypus stealth leader. That's 15 pound also. And so I'm just checking my leader after catching that little cod. And there's a few scuffs just right around the knot. So I'm just going to take a few moments to retie that and then get stuck back in again. That hit on the drop. Oh, he swallowed it. Oh, probably 45. In the shade too. Right up underneath that tree. That is. And uh, literally, as soon as it hit the hit the uh, the bottom, like I felt what I thought it was hitting the bottom, but that was it getting eaten. Yep. Well, and he's just dropped it beside the boat. Seven centimetres of trace that's been down his throat. That was so far down. got you, whatever you are. A wee tiny little flathead. A wee tiny little flathead. I switched over to a, a shrimps. See if something down here like something that looks like a prawn. And you know what? Little tiny baby flathead, they like prawns. I'm going to put my thumb on your bot-bot. And I'm going to get that hook out of you. And I'm going to say, see you mate. I wonder if he's got a friend down there. A big, big girlfriend. Well, do you, mate? Yes. It's a snag that's pulling back. It's a snag that's pulling back. I think it's got me snagged. Yeah, I think I did. I don't know if there's a fish here at all. It might just be a tree. 
It might just be a tree. I don't know if there's a fish under there at all. I've got the tree up, I'm just not sure if there's a fish under it. That's a fish. There he is. Teamwork. <laughs> Look how muddy I am. <laughs> and you caught a black spot now to top up your orange spot. The gold spot estuary cod and the black spot cod. Things I do for you, mate. Well done, sir. <laughs> that uh, 15 pound leader did pretty well to uh, stand up to that. There's the little Z-Man shrimps in the corner of the jaw. Did a good job. That's a nice fish. I'm happy with that. There we go. Lovely black spot cod, 42 centimetres. Let's send him on his way. He's got his gills flared up there. He's trying to look big and mean and angry. Oh, he said, I'm back in the water. Okay, I'm going to start breathing again now. I'm not angry. I'm happy. I'm going to swim. See you, mate. I've fished up here with liveys before. Oi. Oh. Done. This one? Yeah. No, it's a little brim diver. That looks spindly at the back of that. I'm not even going to let it sink. <laughs> I'm going. Give it a few tricks with him. Moving on. Start winding. Gotcha. It's got weight. It's towing me. Yep. Oh, done. <laughs> Owned. That's where reverse would be nice. <laughs> the end well I don't know did I do the wrong thing should I have loosened up once it got me right near the snag and gone gentle on it I don't know
Maybe I should have. We'll never know. I think I caught a fish on the troll. I did, I caught a fish on the troll. Be interesting to see what it is. It was on the shallow side of going across this rubble. Yes, it is a flatty. It's not a bad one either. Got eight pound leader on this one. Not sure how he's hooked, so I'm just gonna take it easy. It's only a very small lure, only 35 mil long, so if he has swallowed it, those teeth are going to be well in contact with the line. This flathead was laying up in the shallows, getting a bit of sun. Saw this little lure come past and thought, hmm. That looks like lunch to me. Couldn't resist it. That's often the way with small lures. Not really sure, probably in the 50s. I only caught a glimpse of it because the water's quite dirty. Just taking my time. This isn't when you want to rush it. Especially after you've just been owned by something huge. Just back that drag off. Try and swim the fish into the net head first. go, he's in the net. I can't see any sign of my little lure. There it is, right down his gullet. So that eight pound leader has done well. Happy with that. So there we go. That's the Akuma Seros. That's the two to four kilo. And that's the Akuma Inspira 20. 10 pound braid, platypus platinum, 8 pound platypus leader. Did the job. Nice little flatty. Beautiful. She's got her fins up. She seems to be quite healthy. So we're going to send her on away. See ya. Now as I expected, that eight pound leader is quite
quite scuffed up above the lure there, so it's going to need to be retied. Always worth checking. I got a 3 8 jig head and it's uh, just belting along the bottom. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Gotcha, you cheeky little varmint. Something hit it on the drop. Got it. What do you think it is? Hit it on the drop and then came straight out into the middle. Mr. Flathead. You're a strange little fellow, you are. All tangled up. I got you lassoed. How did you manage to do that, mate? Hey? There we go. No more lassoed. They're loving that white three inch minnows. Go. Oh, how tough are they? You just grab them with the pliers, rip it out of their mouth, ready to go again. <laughs> 